What is up guys, it's your boy Mike here, back from Mike's Money Moves, and today we're gonna to be talking about a little bit of money that I have made during this month period, and I will let you guys know now. So guys, you guys might have been watching this little channel for a little while now. You know that I like to make money and save money the best ways that I can. I'm gonna give you guys a little demonstration of a bit of money that I've made on the side, through online hustling. And I'm gonna give you guys a few examples now. So guys, you know I like to save some money and I like to flip things to make money on the side as well. I'm gonna give you guys a few little things that I have purchased and a few things that I have sold during this month period. Um, I'm gonna be going through the period of the 15th of July to the 15th or 16th of August because that's where most of the money came from. Um, and I'll give you guys a little examples of what I bought and how much I sold them for and the profits in the middle as well. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little uh, video here. We're just doing a shopping haul that we've done. I went to a local shopping op shop, had a look at a couple of things, found a couple of nice things as well. I'm just gonna give you guys a preview of what I purchased today just so I can show you guys Hopefully later on, if we can make any profit out of these as well. So, I'm gonna start off just over here. I've just got this little bag that I have of goodies. I'm gonna show you guys each individually, one by one, what I've bought. And hopefully we can make a turn out of it. So, first one we have here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we've got uh, men's denim jeans. So, it is G-Star, I don't know if you guys can see that there, G-Star raw denim. Um, GSO one, it's real, real thin. So I'm gonna say it's a, it might even be a boys. Uh, let's have a look at the tag over here. So jeggings, skinny, woman's. Okay, possibly a woman's. So if you guys wanna have a look at the little tag there, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. So made in Vietnam, which is great. Um, and it has a little tag just in there. So I went to a Lifeline. Um, have a look at this. They were doing a sale because it was a first day back open considering coronavirus. So a lot of things were on sale. So I just happened to be in a nice little area that I thought that I could make some profit out of as well. Uh, Pick this one up. $5 instead of $25. That's the first one. So G-Star Raw Denim usually sells pretty well. Uh, good stretch material, which is great. Um, hopefully that can pick up for hopefully maybe about 20, 30 bucks. Second thing, we just got this nice little denim shirt. So Giordano's uh, denim jacket, very thin, lightweight. We'll see how much this can go for again. Uh, this was $8, now it's only five. Uh, that's probably because there's a slight rip just on there. If it doesn't sell, I might even keep it myself maybe. We'll see how we go. Uh, might make hopefully 10, 20 bucks on that. All right, next item we have here is a nice blouse business shirt from YD. Uh, it's a small slim fit, red, checkered, quite nice. It's a good size, it's only a size small, so it'll hopefully sell pretty quickly. Um, was $12, now only being sold for $5. I'm hoping to maybe make about, maybe about $12, about $15 or so, give or take. Um, we see how we go, and again, if that works, it should be good. Uh, next item is some skins. So if you guys don't know what these are, these are compression skins. So pretty much these are made for most people who are um, who are more athletic in the sporting sort of field. Keeps them nice and warm. Uh, keeps the blood flowing inside their body. Big seller. Okay, so these retail probably about roughly about a hundred bucks or so. Um, I'll put up a link just here in the photo to show you how much they are. So price wise. Uh, purchased for five dollars which is great so skins really good condition no tears no rips which is going to be great um, so hopefully I might I'm hoping to probably get maybe about 30 40 bucks if I'm lucky um, and then we'll see how we go with that one next item we have is another business shirt a really nice one as well so the Academy brand very nice Good look, navy sort of color. It's an extra large, it's an extra large size. So we'll see how we go. Um, and again, $5. So just to give you guys an idea, I'm not gonna keep showing you guys the tags and how much they are, because they're all $5. I went for everything that was $5. There were a couple things that are a little bit more, but they weren't as nice, and I don't think I would have made a lot of profit on those as well. So that should hopefully pick up quite well. I'm looking to hopefully maybe make about 20 bucks on this. Okay, we'll see how we go with that one. Uh, we've got another one here, so we've got a nice little checkered flannel sort of look. 
Nice little hole this one. This one is great because this one is super dry. So we all know how well super dry really sells for. So we can definitely make something out of this. Um, size small. So hopefully it should sell pretty quickly. Still have the tags, um, which is great. Made in India. So you know it's good quality stuff as well. And again, that's also five bucks as well, um, which is great. So the good thing about this little Lifeline store that I went to, so shout out to you guys. Um, they even say the month that they've even had it brought in as well. So this one was brought in in February, which is great. So they've had this lying around for almost five months uh, before coronavirus hit. So I might make a haul and go down there as well. So this super dry shirt, um, hopefully it's still in good nick, no rips, no nothing like that. Um, I think I could probably make about 20 bucks out of this. Um, so it should be a nice little rip of profit. Uh, what else do we have here? All right, so we got another one. Um, this is really nice as well, that I was really surprised. Tommy Hilfiger, we all know Tommy Hilfiger, good old Tommy. All right, nice little blue business shirt right here, button up, it's got the nice little logo on the side just there. Um, no tears, no rips, which is really, really good. And again, this is gonna be five bucks, it's a custom fit. Um, so it's a size small, which is pretty good as well. So again, $5, was $25, but it's $5 now. Uh, picked this up in March, but obviously sold in July. And five dollars, I could probably think I can get maybe twenty, twenty-five dollars for this one. Hopefully, that can make me a bit of profit there. And we've got another business shirt as well. So I went ham on this one place. This is one place. So I'm going to be checking out a couple more to see how we go. Um, again, we got another the Ameri the Academy brand. We've got another one of these. So they make nice little lifestyle outfits just to give you guys an idea. And again, this one's a nice little business shirt, nice checkered shirt, a lot of people will like this one. This one's a size extra large as well, so good for the big boys. Um, and it's good quality as well. So if you guys can find something like this, you might be able to make a good amount of money on this. Again, this one was $5. I think I, think I can at least make 10, 15 bucks on this, so we'll see how we go with this one. Um, and this is the last one that I have, my favorite purchase so far. Okay, so it is, it's a green jacket, nice little windbreaker jacket, okay, pretty cool, pretty OG sort of style, it's a size large, and this one is from Gap. So Gap obviously makes nice little streetwear as well as um, outdoor, obviously, clothing. So this one is a size large, which is great. The good thing about this is, because it's a little bit of a baggy size, I, I can consider probably selling this to someone who's a little bit more on the streetwear sort of style. So someone who's into the fashion a little bit more. So nice little cool kind of look. So nice, it's not slim fit. It's a nice little uh, loose fit as well. I think someone will pick this up for quite a bit. I reckon I could probably make 30, 40 bucks out of this one from a $5 sale. Uh, but we'll see how we go guys. So. That is my haul. I'm going to be putting these up on eBay and Gumtree, all of um, my social media that I can think of. We'll see how we go with the profits at the end of them when they all sell, and I'll show you guys the profit and loss if there is any. I just want to give a quick shout out to two Aussie thrifters as well. They posted um, a lot of the content similar like this as well, so go, guys, go check them out. Um, and they've obviously made me want to put them on YouTube as well because I've been doing this my whole life. So guys, we're going to start off with the gap windbreaker hoodie that I bought, so this nice little green navy, um, not navy, but green um, colorway, very nice, very vintage style, Gap is a huge brand, so G-A-P, Gap, um, we're a well-known brand as well, so basically with the title as well, which made it a little bit better for some people to see it, is I put up the words vintage, and I put up streetwear, which is a lot of things that people are into now, so it's a size large, which is a pretty big size, but a lot of people like to wear these sort of clothing, a little bit baggy. So it's perfect for a, um, a collector and perfect for someone who's looking to get this and add it to the collection. So purchase price, $5. Sold price, we are looking at $12.50. So that's making it a profit of $7.50. Okay, that's up to number one. So second item we have here is a woman's G star um, jeans. They are the stretchy kind, good, really nice feel. Uh, very comfortable as well, a little bit faded, but um, retail price, they're still going for about $220. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of traction with it, so the woman market isn't massive uh, for me at the moment, and I don't know too much about it, so I might have missed a little bit of sales there, um, but sold price $550, so that's a profit of $0.50, cents, so 
a profit is better than no profit. So better than nothing. Um, and we'll go through the next one. So a little bit of a loss on this one, guys. Uh, the Academy brand uh, long sleeve tee. It's a size large. I found a couple of these ones because I thought they were, might be a big hit, uh, but unfortunately not so big at the moment. So. I put it up as an auction for 99 cents and I only made 99 cents out of it. So pretty much a dollar. They still paid for postage, but I only made a dollar out of that one. So that is a loss of about $4 there for that one. So you win some, you lose some. So here's another one, guys, um, that I think was an amazing find. This was a Facebook Marketplace find. Um, I had someone who was local that was going to sell these um, and they just wanted to get rid of it. It was for her husband who didn't want to wear these shoes anymore, which is great. Lived locally to me and it was an amazing product and I knew it was profit because it was very good condition. So here's a little video of me being excited buying the product um, and I'll show you guys how much it is um, afterwards. On the episode. So really excited, really stoked on this current sale that I just had. I just picked it up. I had a look at it in Marketplace. Something popped up got on my mind straight away and I knew I had to get it message the person really nice nice and easy transaction and I have it here with me right now so you might be thinking this is a sports girl bag it's just a bag that has the goods inside it so today we picked up a pair of shoes okay so we're gonna have a pair of shoes we have woo, look at that we have a pair of Nike um, Nike Dunks, these are the Nike High Dunks, so they are a nice, nice piece. Um, really, really good condition, excellent condition, tread wear, basically brand new to be honest with you. Um, bought it off an older lady and gentleman, they were a nice, um, nice little family. Uh, basically the, the gentleman was a bit too old, he doesn't wear it anymore, it's not part of his style and his fashion being is too old, not hip, da 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 da, which is a great deal for me because they don't know what they had, which is great. Um, the soles are really good as well. As you can see, they still have the inner stickers from original. Um, so they pretty much weren't even pretty much worn. Look at them. Look, they look pretty much brand new, which is great. So if you guys are guessing, you're thinking, well, how much did this guy get it for? And since he's so excited, I got these for $25. Yes, $25. When I had a look at the ad, I really thought they were actually $250 considering what they were. And I was thinking, oh, maybe they just had a typo. I'm just going to give it a shot anyway. So what I did was I messaged them. They were really nice. They said, yep, it's actually $25. I made sure to go into their listing and see what else they had on their um, listings. So this was Facebook Marketplace. Didn't have anything else that I really liked. They had some sketches, but they weren't exactly my sort of ideal. Um, but I know with these, I would make quite a bit of profit. So I'm going to put these up as well. These are going to be going up on uh, a few platforms. I'm going to probably get them sold more on the eBay side of things, considering that it's more of an auction side of things, a lot more crafty streetwear type of people are on there versus like your Gumtree, Amazon, your Facebook marketplace, um, where you can redo that and flip there as well. So I'll keep you guys updated when it does go up and for sale. And I'll let you guys know how much the hefty profit was when I do so. It's always good to keep a look every once in a while, guys, to make sure to see if there's anything good that pops up. And if it does, make sure to jump on it straight away or else somebody else will get it. So keep you guys updated and I'll see you guys soon. So guys, if you didn't see the excitement in that, that I was very excited in getting these ones because these ones were beautiful. Um, I couldn't help it, but obviously try them on myself. Great fit, um, perfect, no wears, no tears. It was honestly almost new perfectly. Um, just didn't have the box. So a box is a massive factor if you're looking at shoes. If you look at my old videos, guys, you'll see that shoes um, and condition are a huge thing in the streetwear market. So definitely make sure to good to check that out as well. So again, $25 as a purchase. $25 for these. So these are Nike Dunks, um, and these are the high, and these are in the Gatorade brand color. So it's a green and an orange colorway. I haven't seen these colorways personally. I did a bit of research, and there wasn't much on them at the moment. So they were a make or a break. I put this as an auction at, I think it was about $50 is what I started it at. Sold price, $134.50. $134.50 from $24. So that's a profit of um, $110, what, $110, dollars 50 which is $110, which is great. So that's a huge profit, which I'm very, very happy about with that one. So the next item, guys, is a pair of shoes that I've had personally. These were not part of a thrift haul that I had. These are actually my personal um, shoes that I've had myself. So I had a pair of um, Nike Air Max 270s. Yes, I had a Nike <laughs> Air Max 270s. Uh, but 
they were a great set of shoes that I've worn for a little while. Personally, um, I was moving away from that sort of scene. I didn't want to wear casual shoes like that anymore. It didn't suit a lot of the clothes that I wanted. Um, plus, I wanted it, I thought it was going to be good for fitness as well and running, but obviously it's just for uh, street wear and casual wear, which isn't very good. So, um, I purchased these brand new, I believe, a little while ago. Um, so honestly, anything I would make out of these, considering they were still used, uh, was going to be better than not anything at all, to be honest. So I honestly wanted maybe about 50 bucks for them, considering how used they were, and they didn't have a lot of tread left, like you can see here. So put up an auction for about 99 cents, and it made its way to $94, which is pretty good. $94, but I was paying postage. The postage ended up being roughly about $12 or so. So out of $94, I made about $82 back. So realistically it's money that i've made that i wasn't going to make if i threw them out anyways all right so another big item that i had guys so again if you don't remember from one of my videos before i do like cars and i do um oh, I, I would consider myself an enthusiast and i had some um parts that i had left over i had these parts from my old car that i didn't use anymore that were sitting in the closet so i managed to put them up for sale and put some photos up in a nice description to see if anyone would be interested and which i knew they would be so these are defi gauges. So basically what they do is they're basically pod gauges where they sit on top of the car and it measures where the car's temperature, where the car's pressure is at to give you a full proper reading directly from the engine of the car itself. So it is a must for a lot of people. So a lot of um, modified cars do use them. A lot of race cars use them. You'll see these little, little pod things that's sitting in the car. Um, these are very expensive to buy brand new. They would cost probably about two to four thousand dollars brand new um, i've had these units the only downside was it was missing a couple of small things to fit their per cars personally so put them up on different platforms so again just to give you guys an idea i put them on every single platform as well so what that does is again it gives you a variety of people and a different demographic in different places so ebay gumtree facebook and even if like Craigslist is a big one for you, if you want to try that as well, or wherever works for you guys in your local market as well. Instagram, if those shoes, for example, would work really well. Um, and that's another one as well. So put these ones up for about $1,400. I had a lot of offers on Facebook. I had a lot of offers on Gumtree. Um, a lot of questions to be asked. I ended up selling them on eBay um, as a last point, of, um, last point of sale, basically. So... Obviously with eBay, you know there's gonna be fees. eBay charges roughly about a 10% fee, and then if you pay by PayPal, that's another about 3% on top of that as well, um, which I'll go through that in a second. But basically with this buyer, it was a very easy transaction. They, they offered me $1,100 from it. I didn't want that. I was happy with $1,200, but knowing buyers, sometimes I like to play with it and negotiate, so I thought I'd play his game. So offer price, $1,400. His offer price was $1,100. I counter offered that to 1300 and he said maximum I'll do is $1,200 and we had a deal. Simple as that. So guys, after all fees and shipping costs and packaging and everything like that, I ended up with an amount of $1,153.50, which is a great profit considering they were doing nothing and sitting in my closet. So that was another great find. So guys, that was my thrift haul. Um, I'm going to go through and calculate everything for you guys to give you guys an idea of what I've made throughout that month period. Um, just so you guys can see that it is possible to make some money out there as well. So I'll add them up now. So guys, if we add up all of the totals minus seeing all of the cost price, um, including all those products, uh, it comes to a grand total of profit, $1,349 after shipping and all the taxes as well. So guys, I just wanted to do this nice little video for you guys to show you that I do it myself as well. I'm not all talk, but I actually do these things as well. So guys, there is money out there to be made at home. And I guarantee you there are heaps of videos where people go out, thrift shop, garage sale, buy things, sell things that they have at home and all those kind of stuff as well. Because money's there. If you're not bothered to do it, the money's not going to come to you. you got to go out and get the money. So guys, make sure you like the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys uh, have any other ways you wanna make some money uh, or what you've found and what how much money you've made from your thrift haul, put it down in the comments below so we all know and um, can show it off a little bit there. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you guys do. My name is Mike from Mike's Money Move. We like to talk about saving money and making money. If you guys have anything else, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.